Okay, mic test, mic test. I always have to do this because uh, sometimes I'm getting feedback and stuff. And there's a bit of a delay now, so it takes me a minute. Oh. Okay, mic sounds good. I don't know if it's working. I might have shut up. I'm trying to do a voice chat on Discord, and I just don't know if the half-dead hamster that's running this computer can kind of keep up with it. Uh, I am not doing the all in order uh, game today because uh, I shaved and I cut my hair today. It was bad. It needed it. And, uh, yeah, I did it myself. And I, I did it without a mirror, so. And the thing is, there usually is so much, uh, removed hair sticking that I can't, I, I can't usually tell how good of a job I did until I clean. So, like, when I got done, I went and took a shower and, uh, just to wash off all the old hair. And I've got, like, a, it, it ain't quite big enough, but it's sort of a half uh, Hitler stash, but it's off center. I miss that. And uh, But there's so much hair sticking to my face when I shave, it's hard to tell. And I didn't do too bad of a job, but there's a couple spots i got to clean up on the head. But I, it, I generally don't cut it as often as I should. I do it more in the summer, but in the wintertime, I kind of like having that hair there. It's a little warmer. Uh, but we got that done, and... Uh, while I was cutting it, I noticed my hands, my hands were just not react. I mean, I was having trouble with them, so I'm just not going to try and play a fast twitch game like the Jedi Order one. Uh, but other than that, I'm actually having a pretty good day. Um, tomorrow's going to suck because it just started snowing and it's talking like we might get eight inches of snow. So I'm going to probably be shit tomorrow and for a day or two afterwards. Um, now that Trump is out of office, our dearly departed shitbag that we had in there for four years, um, I'm going to start doing different songs like every, uh, and I'm a horrible singer. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm absolutely a horrible singer, but I'm hoping the pathetic nature of it will kind of endear myself to people that feel sorry for me. Now, this one here is, uh, they don't do it as much anymore. They, um. Uh, I'm a boomer. I, I didn't realize that until uh, all these kids that I'm playing Minecraft now, when I would make a comment, they didn't know what I was talking about. They're like, oh, that's a boomer reference. I guess I'm a boomer. And, uh, actually, I don't think I'm a baby boomer. That that would be, I think, like my parents' generation. I think I'm a... 
not entirely sure. I was born in I was born in the seventies. I think that makes me like a Gen X or something like that. I'm not in time. I'm, I'm whatever is before the millennials. That's the generation I'm. I think I'm the one right before the millennials. Uh, there's a comedian out there. She refers to herself as an elder millennial because she she basically was in on the first year or two of the millennial movement. Uh, but they made these movies. Uh, when I was in high school, and they were basically these movies that kind of epitomized the absolutely horrible shit that you went through. Like, uh, probably the first one I remember seeing, it's one called The Breakfast Club. And a lot of these movies, to some extent, I think will still resonate with the kids today. Hey, what's up there, buddy? And uh, they'll still resonate with the youth of today, maybe not as much. And I don't notice that they're making these kind of movies. They're at least not making them in the uh, the amounts that they did when I was in high school and junior high. But I mean, you have like The Breakfast Club, Better Off Dead. That one there's kind of, it's, it's a lot funnier. Like if I explain to you the movie, which I'm going to, um, it's a lot funnier than you would think. But like in today's culture, they'll probably be like, what the fuck? Because the whole gist of that movie is there's a guy that his girlfriend broke up with. So he spends, like, the first half of the movie trying to fuck, fucking kill himself. And it always fucks up. Like, there's one of them, he tries to throw himself off a bridge, and it would have worked except for he landed in a garbage truck that was driving under the bridge. And there are these two black guys that are working on the phone lines or working on the power lines. And as the trash truck goes by with him in it, the one guy goes, ain't that a damn shame? Throwing away a perfectly good white boy like that. And, you know, and then he basically finds a foreign exchange student from France who starts helping him to get his girlfriend to notice him. And then by the end of the movie, he figures out, well, wait a minute, my ex-girlfriend was a piece of shit. I should be going after this girl that's been nice to me for half the movie. And he ends up, going, so, you know, but it was a good movie. And uh, the song I'm going to be singing today, it's actually from one of those, it's called Pretty in Pink. Uh, if you're more of a heavy metal, this isn't going to be your cup of tea, and I apologize, but, like, I'm not going to do this every episode. I'm just going to, but, uh, like, I think once a month, every other week, something like that, I'm going to pick something from the 80s, something that, uh... Hey, what's up, biker? Um, but I'm going to pick something from the 80s, something from, you know, like, what the, the soundtrack of my life growing up, and I'm not entirely sure what happened, uh... Looks like I'm still streaming. Everything looks good, but I lost my uh, chat and everything else kind of winked out on OBS. But uh, this one here, it's from a movie called mm -hmm. Pretty in Pink. It's by a group called... Uh, I I'm Okay, it seems like I'm still working, but okay, it looks like it's coming back, but I lost the chat, the stream information. Uh... Twitch stats, the, the stream might be crashing. I have no idea. Not entirely sure here. Okay, it's coming back on. It's it's kind of it's it's one that I kind of grew up liking, but it's called Pretty and Pink is the movie, and the group is OMD. I'm not even sure they exist anymore. I really don't. And it's called If You Leave. I'm not gonna sing the whole song. got to wait for the lyrics to come on. Hang on. I, I can't sing these off the top of my head. If you leave, don't leave now. Please don't take my heart away. Promise me just one more night. And we'll go our separate ways. Always had time on our side. Now it's fading fast. Every second, every moment, we've got to, we've got to make it last. You once, I 
touched you twice. I won't let go at any price. Need you now like I need you then. You always said we'd still be friends someday. God, I suck at singing. You, I won't cry. I won't waste one single day. You leave. Don't look back. I'll be running the other way. Seven years went under the bridge like time standing still. Who knows what happens now? Got to. I really don't have the voice for this. I'm trying to sing it, and I, I suck anyways, but I'm just have I'm struggling on that. Okay, let's see if we can get... It looks like the stream didn't crash. I'm not kidding you. Like, all my screens went dark, even the one that shows the game going on. Okay, let's get going with a heist. I got to set up some damn help. All right, let's go ahead and get the game going. Hopefully everything's set up right. But I don't think it's working on the, uh, I'm trying to do a uh, voice chat on the Discord, and I'm not entirely sure it's, yeah, it says I'm disconnected. It won't let me do OBS. It's, you know, I guess it's just not going to work. Okay. But it. I don't know. It might work if, if anybody's interested. If they joined it, I might be able to hear them real time instead of waiting because everything you guys are telling me, uh, you know, it's it takes a minute for it to show up on my screen. My, my computer is the effect of a half-dead hamster trying to run this shit, and it just, it's, uh, it's a little overmatched. Hey, what's up, biker? Okay. Now, I did this right before the game started. Um, basically, everything on here back is uh, Silent Whispers Nether Tree Farm. And then he uses a gas cannon, and I just do not have the courage to run a gas cannon. So I've, I've been working on a piston system to push it. And then I, uh, I was going to make a separate one for the green anyways. And I've got this going, and it works. The only problem I'm running into, I can't really see a way to push this far enough out of the way fast enough. Even using double piston pushers. I just, I can't, I can't figure that out. Um, I've got normal latency. So there's going to be more of a delay. I think it's giving me a better quality stream. I'm going to answer them in game. I said. Yeah, I, I set that up when I was having all those problems. I thought, I honestly thought my network, I found out it was my brother's phone uh, hogging up the, oh, my voice is connected again on Discord. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I really don't. Um, but uh, I, I, I set that in there because it was said it was supposed to give you a better, uh, supposed to give you a better more stable stream or something like that so i'm trying that to hopefully make the stream a little bit better um but yeah i built this one and i've been trying to push it and i just the biggest problem i can see is on a normal tree farm when you use your pistons it breaks the leaf block 
So all you have after a couple pushed in piston, uh, piston, piston, God, I fucked that up. Piston push it, pushes is the wood. But with this one here, these things don't deteriorate. They don't break from the pistons, and that's what's clogging it up. But the other problem I had with his is his initial one. Uh, if you get a double pump and it's out here by these pistons, it'll break it. Um, so you need more delay. And it seemed like the delay worked on that one. Now, normally what it did is the redstone just came down here and linked to this. I've got it going to the side, and there's an easier way to do it, but I, just in case you build it and you want to use this modification, um, you put a block there to break this, and then I just run the redstone over here. I run it through a comparator delay, or it's, it's not really a delay, it's a pulse lengthener. And what this does is this shuts off the mechanism that creates the trees. And so that gives me, it seems like on that one, it gave it enough of a delay that I did not break uh, the machine. And, uh, and then the other thing is I just planted a whole bunch of trees. And I've got some ideas. I, I've been fairly, and my hands haven't wanted to cooperate too much. I mean, they're not bad, but it's just... This is why I kind of like Minecraft, because I, I can I can actually do this even when my hands aren't cooperating. Uh, sure, I'm going to move over there. Oh. But, uh... I might have a way to make some of it work. It might not work, but I think it'll work better. But I would like to be able to rig this up so I can do what I normally do. I can do what I normally would do with a uh, regular tree farm where you can just push it into a giant block of uh, material. And I'm not sure it's going to be possible because these don't act like a regular tree, but I'm going to try. It gives me something to do. It feels kind of good when you're having a good but I might be able to do it with, because uh, I couldn't get, because this is the problem I had with it. And this is what I've been kind of thinking today. I, I had a really clear day, so I was able to process some of this stuff. But I was going to use double pistons, like, immediately. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Because uh, with the double pistons, I was going to have the two pistons back here. And you have to have at least one block here because this one here if there's a piston there the uh, the nether tree can actually replace the pistons and so i'm like well i gotta have this here well then what i got thinking was well, wait a minute if i do a double piston extender i'll have like three honey blocks here or two honey blocks and with the double piston extender that honey block or that slime block is going to end up exposed and it'll stick to whatever you got here but whatever you got here is going to stick to it, break the machine, can't have that. So then what I got thinking was, uh, well, wait a minute, what if I put the honey blocks in between the two pistons, like piston here, honey block, honey block, honey block, and then a piston here, and it might actually make it easier, and I might even be able to do a uh, triple piston extender that way, because I, I, I don't know, I might be able to do it, that's what I'm thinking now, and that's the next thing I'm going to work on when I, I might even do it later tonight after the stream. Um, I don't want you to look through all the failure. If it actually works, I'll show it to you on the on another stream after I've got it done. But if I do, I might be able to actually do a double piston extender here, because and that's what I need to do. I need to build these things see how they work, and then after looking at it, I might be able to find an improvement. And so what I'll end up doing is <coughs> I'll probably move that one down here and rebuild it, and then I'll build it with the improvements, and then hopefully down the road I'll get something that works. It takes me a while, and I really got to thank Silent Whisper because I would have never come up with this this piece by myself, and then once he's got it, I can uh, I can make it make changes to it that work for me. And then, uh, sorry about the coughing. I I apologize.
I haven't made a farm for this yet. It's 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 on the list, but it's not exactly a real high priority. Um, but before I couldn't do more than about five of these. When I was using his method, I didn't use more than five because if it uh, if you made too many, it would break the system. So I would just do five mushrooms at a time. So I really didn't need, and I also didn't have a bone meal farm. Now that I got the skelly farm and I actually have a little bit of a more, a uh, little bit more of a source of uh, bone meal, uh, down the road I will eventually make a farm that will make these uh, mushrooms. You gotta go sleep. Yeah, because this thing goes through a fair amount of uh, bone meal on its own anyways. I took that out. I, I took that out because I was having a problem with this thing double pumping. And before I thought of putting in that delay with the comparator pulse extender, I was thinking, well, maybe if I just have it in one, it won't, it won't double pulse on me. Because I just basically was getting tired of fixing a broken machine. If this breaks, I'm done with it for the day, and then I probably won't do anything with it until uh, until I get it fixed. Even with the even before I modified it for today, um, I could do more than five as long as I didn't get the thing pulsing twice. Because what sometimes happens is, and this is the way he built it, when this thing gets done, what happens is it will try to sprout another mushroom here. It's not completely AFK, but it will try to sprout another mushroom. Usually, you end up getting these uh, crimson roots. But it tries to, well, the problem, uh, he doesn't have these extra pistons on there. And uh, when I added those, but this is the problem I got now. See, I've got, this one here's about as far as it can go, or it'll start breaking the pistons over here. I don't think it already did. Yeah, it didn't break anything here. But uh, when it gets to this point, I have to go in there and start clearing it. Oh no! So what I have to do is... Hey, what's up, Snowball? That's what I finally thought of today. I'm like, you know what? If these things broke like the leaves do, um, if the you know if these things broke like the leaves do, uh, this would just be a piece of cake to make. It really would. I've got plenty of these. I always save like a little bit for each one of these I do. But then the rest of them I put in here and then I end up getting more uh, bone meal. Yep. 
have it. This thing can go for a while, but the problem I have is it doesn't clear it this way fast enough, so then they keep coming out this way, and I have to keep clearing it, and that's the problem I haven't really solved yet. You know, that's a double pump. Oh, and it broke. Now I've got missing pistons here. That's a problem you have. That This might not work. Um, that, that happens occasionally, but I've, this is the first time it's actually replaced pistons this far out. And it didn't push them. It didn't push them or break it. They just spawned in and replaced the pistons. But they didn't touch anything here, so yeah, that's this is pretty much broken. I'll have to wait. I'm gonna clear it now. I actually wanted the wood. I might actually have to do it where I make those double piston extenders and have the uh, the stone there. But I gotta double check. Oh, it broke the machine. That double, that double pulse that I had, that broke the machine basically where it uh, it spawned a mushroom and fired twice. That isn't enough of a delay. I think it is for that one, but I wired this one up a little differently. That's the problem I'm having on this. I, I don't mind showing the failures. Um, you shouldn't be afraid to fail at things. Just basically try to find fruit and failure. When you do fail, try and find a way to use it make something better or to find a better way or find, you know, just something. Failing is not that big of a deal. Quitting is a bigger deal than failing. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'll do that off stream, but I basically need to come through. I don't think I'm going to fix it. I think I'm going to do is wait until I have it. I might even do it later today because I've been feeling really good today. Um, I might build another one and put the improvements that I thought about unless I get lightheaded during the stream. Because rebuilding this thing is kind of a pain in the ass. I even tried to come up with a way... Because if you if I were to rebuild it, you'd see that basically you've got like every one of these uh, pistons that's behind this has a row of honey blocks, and then it's it's like a checkerboard pattern of honey blocks and slime blocks. And uh, I honestly thought that if you made them bigger, now I don't know why it doesn't work. To me, it doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't. I don't know if it's intended or a glitch. But I thought, well, man, I'll just make them, you know, I'll make them like too high or whatever. And then there's no way it'll be able to break that way. It won't be able to go fuck up the pistons. And it doesn't work. It breaks pretty much every time you fire it that way. That's why he did the checkerboard pattern. Because you have to. Because if you don't, it ends up breaking the system. The only thing I haven't tried is just doing solid slime or solid honey box. That... That might work. I don't. Yeah, this thing's all fucked up. I think my voice channel on the Discord keeps breaking and not breaking. It, it, it keeps disconnecting and connecting. I keep hearing this chirping, but I don't think it's working anyways. Uh... 
But the stream, well, yeah, I'm dropping a little bit, but the stream is actually running pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, this is why he built it the way he did. He's got, like, the pistons are in the back, and then behind each one of these is, like, three honey blocks or three slime blocks because the nether trees can't replace... The, uh, they can't replace the stone, they can't replace the slime and the honey, but the pistons, the redstone stuff, they can replace that. And I don't know if that's intentional or a glitch, but it's something that I don't think is going anywhere anytime soon. One of the guys that plays on the server, he's in the chat, Biker. He's got a project going on where he's using just a epic amount of uh, an epic amount of uh, the the green nether trees. And if I can actually get this working, I'll be able to make some for. Him. And I'm using a fair amount. Of, I got a plan to use a bunch of the red trees. And uh, so I'd kind of like to get this thing up and running, too, but I don't know if that's going to work or not. I've actually tried like doing what I do with uh, regular trees. I need a lot of them. I usually don't buy, I uh, usually don't build like tree farms. What I end up doing is I just, uh, I've got one right here. I just plant a ridiculous amount of trees. And then every now and then when I need wood, and I, if it's got to be in an area where you hang out a lot, I just plant them, I light them up. And then if you hang out in that area long enough, uh, Pretty soon they'll all sprout, and you just go chop them down and replant them. In fact, right before the tree, uh, the stream hit, I was replanting trees because I just chopped a bunch of them down uh, yesterday. I need a fair amount of trees right now for uh, building uh, building chests. And I've got, I've been lighting up the ocean and I've been lighting this up to try and get better, better drop rates from my creeper farm. And I don't get a lot of spawns, uh, hostile mob spawns here other than the, uh, oh, the little Johnnies, what are the, the vindicators or whatever, those little bastards are still, still around a lot. Yeah, this, this thing got broke. I, I need more of a delay. And I think when I rebuild it, I'll wire it up like the other one. And that seemed to help. Because uh, I think I've got less of a delay before the pistons kick in. Oh, I guess it did push them. Okay, it did push them. It didn't, it didn't necessarily fill in. It just that double pulse pushed a couple of the pistons. Yeah, I'll rebuild that later. Okay, now what I need this stuff for, since you're here, I can show you. Hang on a sec. I got to put some hotkeys in here.
Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about setting this up with a uh, with a timer, like a just a regular uh, comparator clock, so that when this thing lights up, it rings the bell. But basically, all I have to do is stand here, and when I AFK, I've been getting some pretty good drop rates now. I just got to keep lighting stuff up and slabbing the area down here, getting rid of the unlit caves, getting rid of the unlit ocean floor, light the area. But uh, there's a pressure plate here. And as soon as that pressure plate triggers, it pushes a piston in place and keeps the skeletons from falling. And so like basically the skeletons, if I'm in range, they'll just keep going to the kill chamber. I don't have it so it automatically comes on yet, but it, they'll basically keep going there and dying. And then as soon as a creeper drops into place, it freezes them. And I'm actually pretty proud of the fact the way that works. And right now, I have a fair amount of discs from this thing. Um, I just really need to build a place at the shops to sell these. But I've actually got a pretty good inventory. And I've got more up here. Actually, with the this thing doesn't create the dubstep ones, so there's nothing I can do about that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy this thing. I didn't even know if it was gonna work, and I'm just like, well, you know, I got the skeleton farm. I don't really need, I don't need a lot of bones, and I don't need a lot of uh, arrows because I get some of those. I, I I get more from this, but I get I get enough for me right now in the raid farm. But now that I've got bone meal coming from this. I can use use it for farms where I really didn't have enough for farms and stuff. And uh, but no, the uh, that's actually I was, I'm actually pretty tickled that work work. It really I really am. First time I've tried something like that. Okay, now what I've been ooh. And I've got a I've got an actual proper slime farm, so I just need to kill the mobs. I, I I've got like at least a couple double chests of slime balls right now. Oh any place down here where you see these things like three high down here on the floor, they're filled with lava. And I've been removing the lava as I dig and I've been saving it. I don't think I'm honestly gonna need that much, but I have it. Down the road. What I'm doing here is I'm going to make some uh, nether tree columns, and they're going to be the supports for the ceiling. And I might do a little bit more with it. I, I might make it. If, if you, it's not going to look nearly as cool. But if you saw the, if you saw the Lord of the Rings movies where they were in Moria and you had the big stairs and hallways and stuff like that, I might do something like that down here as I go. I might end up removing those fire things. I thought they would look better than what they did. Uh, I've, I've done everything. I, I tried a couple different methods, and I just am not getting them to look the way I wanted to. So I might eventually remove them. I don't know. This is, I mean, I'll be honest with you, and I'm kind of looking forward. This is why I hate starting a new map. 
Because see, right now I've been, I, this is like the, uh, and I've been playing more than this, but this is like the 77th episode I've put up on Twitch. And I'm just getting now to where I've got enough basic BS done that I'm feeling like I can, uh, yeah, we'll just leave this here. But I'm, I got enough basic BS done that I'm actually looking at uh, making this look better. But I, I am actually kind of looking forward to it, but that's going to be the big uh, pain in the butt when we go to Season 2 is having to start all over again because it takes me a while to get what I consider the basics done. I don't know why. I just don't want anything spawning, and there's the main reason why I put the stone in there. I did it on the other one. I just I just don't want stuff spawning in there and taking up the mob cap. Because uh, anything that spawns in there is probably not going to unspawn. Yeah, I got to move these. I guess you can still get to them from the side, I guess. The other thing I need for this is these things are all going to be connected. What's going to actually be the, the support is going to be the Blackstone. And I need a fair amount of that. And uh, as, I'm, as I'm digging for netherite ore, I keep getting a little bit of it there. And then as I get diamonds in the shop, I get a little bit of gold from, uh, I got a zombie spawner I turn into a uh, drowned farm. And I get a fair amount of gold from that. And then uh, every time I get a, a handful of diamonds in the shop, I usually buy one or two uh, things of gold from Biker. And then uh, that's another thing I got to do is just go and trade in there. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. The thought I've got is somewhere down here, since I've got this checkerboard pattern, I might actually make somewhere where it's an actual checkerboard. I'll put it in glass. Is it the, uh, the lava thing isn't working out kind of like I hoped. I really don't like the looks of it. But I might put somewhere where there's like an actual checkerboard with like a glass uh, border around it and then uh, use uh, armor stands. And armor stands, mob heads, and mini blocks to represent the chess pieces. And what I'll do is, uh, maybe I'll do it every month or every other month. I'll actually change the layout of the board. I'll look up, uh, I'm, I'm really not a good chess player. I've got some friends that are. But I'll look up uh, some classical historical chess games and then set the board up like that. Okay, there's mobs in the wall over here. I, I can hear them over there. That was, that sucked. I'll finish that later, but I can hear mobs in the wall. So that's going to, like, when I get this one done, and I've got this almost done. I've got this, I basically just got this to the left to dig out, like, flush with that wall. And I'll start digging this one out the same way. Because there's mobs and stuff in that wall, and any of that, all those unlit caves that I can clear out, they'll make all my mob spawners more efficient. I'll probably get more creepers. Definitely won't get less. It might even help uh, 
couple of the guys, I, I was watching one of their streams, uh, Biker and Snowball, and I heard them talking about how the mob cap just pretty much gets wiped out anytime I'm hanging out near this thing. And uh, that might help because there's so much of this crap that's in the walls. And there, it's, there's just a ridiculous amount of slime chunks over here. And I'm slabbing this and lighting things up as much as I can to kind of, to kind of fix it. Okay, now the other thing, now that I've got the uh, things, uh, the shroom lights from the tree farm, uh, I'll show you what, it, yeah, because they're spawning right here, and that's, I'm slowly slabbing this up, and that'll prevent those. They were spawning on top of this thing, so I put the buttons down, and I haven't seen any spawn on this since. But as I notice where these uh, slime ch uh, slimes are spawning, I've been trying to unspawn them. I need to cover this, too, because I, I don't know. I think I might have saw some spawn on here. But I need to slab that. But the, the better job I do, the more of them will spawn right there and then fall into my farm. I got to put some water elevators. Uh, when I started out, I, I had the scaffolding so I'd get around, but I actually need to put more water elevators in there. Uh, I think the other thing I'm going to do is like right now, I have uh, added a, I've got white, black, and red. When I do these wool farms, I don't usually use a lot of wool, but like I try to do the Roy G. Biv, so red. And pink would be here, but red, pink, and then orange, yellow, and I, I try to do them. So I'm going to add some other ones, but I'm going to wait until I get more of this dug out. But I'm slowly adding that. Now that I got the, when they, they did something to the honeybees. And, uh, and what happened is I noticed I wasn't getting a lot of drops from my, uh, my farm. Here. What happened was they did a change to the uh, all the beehives and the bee nests or whatever you want to call them. I think they got two different names, like whether they're man-made or nature-made. And they they changed where the opening was when you placed it. Well, it screwed up every one of them that I had. They, there were a bunch of them where they because they can only go in and out through that hole now. But when they changed that, it changed all your placed ones. So I now had them in placed in a direction where almost all of them, the bees could not get out. They could go in, but they couldn't get back out. So I literally had to break almost every one of my beehives and replant them uh, so the bees can come in out. Well, now that it's working again, I have to uh, have to basically come in here. Otherwise, my uh, my collection system will break. Uh, I just flew like a scud missile there. Holy cows. I got like one water elevator up. I need to make some water elevators in other spots so I can get up and down inside it a little bit better.
I, I try to get in the habit of doing that whenever I go to leave. And then what it does is by going up there during an active raid, it clears the bad omen from me. And then if I accidentally go to my uh, trading hall, it I still do it on occasion, but it is really cut down on uh, it is really cut down on me uh, accidentally triggering raids over there. Let's get a heist going. I think it was Pixel. He came on the one time and he 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 was coming over here for something and he's like, "Why is there a ghast riding in a minecart?" And you know, he finally saw my ghast farm and I go, you know, I and I told him it was, just, you know, it's a ghast farm. You know, it's it's not great, but it works. And uh until they fix the glitch where if you send them through the Nether, they just disappear. This at least works. And I didn't get any drops from that. Looting three swords, zero drops. But my, uh, if I'd have been in a, if I was feeling better, I usually am a smart ass. And I should have, I should have said something like, well, why not? You know, it's like. I'm finding that if you light this up, you don't get as bothered by the nether fog. It looks more decorative, too. Somebody did this, like, when if you're in the, uh, um, when you're in here, Somebody had already done it where they kind of gave like a colored theme, like there's a blue tunnel, a red tunnel, a black tunnel, and then the gold tunnel. And I turned it into, because I basically made the honey farm just so I could uh, see if it worked. And I might do it too. I think I'm, I'm in the middle of doing a tutorial and I just wasn't feeling it because I never got around. I was having streaming issues. I never finished it. But, uh. These are kind of gold colored, and I had a shitload of them and no earthly use for it. So I'm like, well, okay, I'm going to decorate the tunnel. I did a I did a one of those TikTok videos and I was doing that uh that Fleetwood Mac 
trend that was going on. It was started by that one guy. I mean, you got that. Talk about falling into something beautiful. That guy was awesome. But I did a did a video where I was basically going down here on the boat, and the video just kept getting wiped out by the nether fog. It was good where it was lit up, but as soon as I got into the unlit areas and I got into a patch of that nether fog, that's all you could see. But Pizza, he was the one that dug this out. He's he did a lot. He did the bulk of the work, but he dug it out. He laid the uh, laid the ice, put the fences in, put the buttons in, and I'm just kind of decorating his hard work. As I get time, I'm not now. This is not a real high priority, but as I get time, I'm decorating. But by lighting it up, it also cuts down on the spawnage down here. It actually looks kind of nice. OBS is on crack. The Twitch stats... I think they kept disconnecting because I was trying to run the uh, voice channel on uh, Discord, but it that kept disconnecting. But my stream hasn't. My stream's still going good, as at least on mine. And you guys are still, I think, interacted. And uh, but it's saying that I've been streaming for eight minutes, and it's been about an hour. That really sounds horrible, but like if I'm AFKing here, it kind of wakes me up. Uh, it kind of wakes me up and lets me know that there's a uh, gas here. But I'm I've been slabbing the Nether to improve the rates, and it took a while. But I got to a certain point. I didn't even put down that many slabs, but I put down a few slabs, like a stack of them maybe, or stack or two. And my rates really got noticeably better. Every every now and then when I get in the mood, I'll I'll just uh like I've got a new batch of nether bricks because of the tunnels I've been digging and stuff. So I could actually go on another slabbing uh, crusade. But uh as I slab it, I'm getting better rates here. Now if they ever get this thing fixed, what I can do is I can turn the nether portal on. And I can just dump them into the overworld. And then, you know, when I get a bunch of them, I can go AFK for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then go kill like about a 50 of them at a time or whatever. Um, but right now you can't because every one of them I send through disappears. And Biker gave me some advice on how to fix it. You basically got to create a, a dispenser or a hopper that just occasionally throws stuff into the nether. and I could do that, but it's for me right now, especially most days, if I'm not feeling good, it's a good day to just hang out here. It's a good day to hang out here and just collect this stuff. But I've got, I think I'm selling them like 16 at a time or something like that. And, uh, it's just easier for me to do this right now. I got to leave the boat there. 
I, uh, I took the boat so I could come back, and then I just yeah. But I mean, they're they're coming pretty regular right now. And see, with me lighting this up, that might be helping too. I have no idea if this command is going to work. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. No, it doesn't appear to work. Hey, Grape. Okay, now at my shop, Biker has put in a, an order for a uh, like three shulkers worth of water breathing potions, and there is one shulker there. Uh, it's it's basically in the same chest with the other bottles. Okay, the other shulkers back at my raid base. Like later tonight when I'm if I get tired, I get lighted and I'll just camp out here and do this. That's what I did last night and I got I, I've got probably another shulker and a half in here, but I'm trying to make his order separate. So cause I actually use these when I work on stuff. So I wanna I want a supply that I can dip into whenever I need it. But I'll camp out here later and tonight I start getting tired or whatever, and I'll get at least another shulker of them. But I'm trying to get like uh, four four shulker. He said he wanted three. I want an extra one, and that way, when he needs one, he can have it. I don't have to. But as soon as it gets down to one shulker, I'll uh, I'll probably make up some more. Cause it sounds like this might be something he'll use. For... This is the thing when I first did it. If I'd have known they were gonna be I, the water potions, I made more for me. I didn't think anybody else would be interested in them. But at the shop, what I need to do is I need to put in a return for, I don't expect anybody to use it. It's more for the look of it. 
but I want to put in a collection thing where people can return used bottles. And for every bottle they can return, they can take a uh, iron nugget. It's another boomer reference. When I grew up, you know, I don't, I don't know how many times when we were little, we would, uh, we could return uh, bottles, and you got like a nickel for every bottle you returned. I might actually see when I set this up, the whole plan was, and I just haven't been getting stuff done as fast as I would like. Um, but the whole plan was to just turn this over, and I'm, I'm slowly terraforming it. I'm building, uh, I'm building my own buildings here. I'm kind of taking down the old ones and improving them or just replacing them. And then I was going to go and actually do a better base. And this was just the starter base where I could get like a trading hall and some other stuff. And I wasn't going to do anything automated. That was the whole plan. And then I was going to do the automated stuff at somewhere else. And I just haven't finished this one. Uh, I haven't finished this one as fast as I had hoped. And uh, so I might actually make automated potion farms where all I got to do is load the stuff. Push a button and it'll make what it, make the potion that I want. Just because I'm actually selling these at the shop, so I might I might actually break that that plan. Don't make a lot. Wait. Um, I don't make a lot of these speed potions. Although I think it was Biker or somebody else said they might actually buy these. Um, but the speed potions, I did actually make a brewing stand for it because I actually get these as drops at the raid farm, but they're kind of on the rare side. So I haven't, you know. But I did finally when I expanded it. Like uh, I had. I had like four of them right off the bat. I added two more. Um, the Turtle Master potions, I don't know if I'm going to sell because they don't take a scoot. You have to use five scoots for every potion. So these things are going to be like one diamond for two or one diamond for one. They're, they're going to be a little on the expensive side. The other ones I want to kind of set up, and I'm kind of waiting until I decide if I'm going to make uh, automated farms or not. I'm not going to make any more of these until I'm decided. Because if I'm actually going to turn these into uh, automated, I don't want to build any more until I get in the mode mode to do that. But uh, I want to make slow falling potions. I don't know if anybody's going to buy them or not, but uh, I, I definitely it's something I use. Because if I ever get in the mood, ooh, excuse me, if I ever get in the mood to go kill the dragon, I want the slow falling potions because it's kind of nice to float around and pick off those uh, all those. Uh, the thing the dragon used, end crystals or whatever, it's kind of fun to float around slowly and pick those.
Okay, now this one here, I've got two of them that are like this. Uh, this one here, I can make uh, night vision and invisibility depending on, like, the night vision is normal. And by adding the fermented spider eye, it turns it into an invisibility potion. And I don't have a lot of night vision ones. So I'm going to do that. because I, I don't know if they're going to sell or not, but the night vision one are ones I might use anyways. So I, I want to make those. The invisibility, I figure... If anything's going to sell, would probably be the bigger seller. And this one here, you can make healing and damage potions. And I haven't made any of them since shortly after I built it. Because I get so many healing potions from the raid farm. I just use them as base stock. And then I turn them into healing two potions. And then uh, turn them into damage potions. Splash. But these are kind of useful for some... Uh, these are kind of useful, and again, I don't expect anybody to buy these. These are more for me. But down the road, what I can do is I can put these in, like, say, a. Uh, me and Bullet have a um, a blaze farm, and he put a crusher on it, so it damages him a fair amount of the way. Well, I can go ahead and put these in there after his crusher damages him. I can hit him with a damage potion, and it should wipe the rest of them out. So you'll kill. We don't have sweeping edge, so instead of having to just kill them one at a time with my sword, I can once I hook this up, I can load a bunch of them, and I'll just push one damaging potion on them, and it should wipe out the stack of them pretty quick. What I'm going to do is I will fill this back up later. But I kind of want to go direct because basically I get like last time I did one of these, I had uh, like one or two people, three people watching the stream. And then when it loaded to Twitch, nine people watched it later. I don't know how much they watched because Twitch doesn't really track that. But uh, Biker and Zombie did a really good job setting up the uh, shopping district. And that is uh, anything that looks that good is a good thing to have on your stream. So I'm going to go ahead to the shopping district and drop off a shelter. This will be supported later. I just, I needed something built. If I get the time, I will, it won't just be hanging in the air. I don't know. I might just put like wool around it to make it look like it's being held up by clouds. But down the road, I will try to do something. But I think you guys might be able to see this. I've been working on a road. Eventually, this will get linked up with the raid farm, and I'll be able to, like, uh, but I've got the road pretty well started from this end, and I got it coming from the other end, too. But uh, I've started building roads between my bases. I mean, it's going to be a long route road. It's uh, it's almost a full map height away. And, uh, but I am working on that now, clearing it, lighting it up, building it. Part of the thing I need is well, any of this stuff I do, I like to light up my area. So even if it's not walled off and secure, 
very little spawns in there. Well, for me to do that, I need some kind of a light source. I usually use like, I'll put a pumpkin down and then put leaves over it. And yeah, this doesn't exactly look the greatest, but to me it looks better than a, be a bunch of creeper divots. So that's what I do. Yeah, when you when you look at the shopping district now, I think. I mean, it, to me, the whole thing looks good, but like, there's a building there. It's got kind of the curved. It's not the purple one, but it's the curved one. It's made out of wood and uh, I think it's white concrete. That there and the city hall here, this thing here, right in front of me. I think Ultra Ranger is the one who built those. He isn't really as active right now. Man, does he build. He builds incredibly well. I got to be honest, I'm actually kind of proud of it, but, you know, my stuff really isn't looking great compared to other people. But uh, this originally started as the head shop, and the head shop is still on the first floor. And the uh, potion shop is on the uh, second floor. I got to do one. I just like to check and see if anybody. Yeah, these ones here are kind of link. It's the healing and the harming ones, uh, the weakness potions. Those are the ones you need if you want to cure villagers. Um, I get these from. Uh, I gotta restock these. I gotta bring another one. Somebody just bought one. I think it's the one that was griefing, but he bought one. Really, you get them for free for a diamond, and he's like. Well, I got plenty of diamonds. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've like they were my diamonds out of my chest, but uh, gotta restock that. Fire resistant potions don't have anything there. That's for future expansion. Um, this one here is the water breathing potions, and then these are the bulk ones. I kind of put it on the Discord that right now these are for biker. He he put the order in for them, but if somebody wants one, anybody can get the deal. They just gotta let me know, and I'll. Uh, build them. I don't want, I, and I appreciate it because instead of wiping out my entire stock, he's letting me know, hey, I want them in bulk and I can just make them for them. And then that way, anybody that just wants a couple for their own use can still come and get them. These are the speed ones. Like I said, I don't have very many of the night vision, but I'd at least like to have about nine of each in here. And then if they start selling, I'll stock more. And I'm trying to keep those in there. I gotta I gotta put some more turtle helmets in. Basically this one here, what this is like the tools and the weapons. Anything that has mending on it is two diamonds. Uh anything with silk touch on it is two diamonds. And if I put a silk touch with mending on it, it's still gonna be two diamonds. I'm not charging any more for it. 
and then this is the but basically what I do is here I'm not trying to sell weapons but as I put new villagers in and level them up I am selling the stuff that I buy and then with the books that I get from my raid farm any of them that I got where I can kind of pump them up and make them unbreaking three give them fortune efficiency that kind of thing I'm doing that to make them a little more because it's, it's basically stuff that I don't need the the books and these things so and then it's nice every time when I die I've got like starting equipment that I can just come grab out of the chest I got to come over and fill up the emerald shop because uh, the guy that I, I, I'm pretty sure we got griefed. It could have been a lot worse, but we got griefed. They took diamonds and he basically, I think, took the diamonds he stole from me and spent them in my shop because it seems like about the roughly the amount of diamonds that came up missing showed up in my shop. So not only did he steal my diamonds, he did give them back, but now I got to restock my stores. There's just something inherently wrong. But I'm sorry. And but I am selling end crystals now, 16 for a diamond. Um if I start selling them, I'll make more. This is kind of the loading dock. I've gotten this far. There was a there was a book writer, and I can't remember who it was. Uh I think it might have been the one who wrote the Marion Zimmer Bradley or something like that. She uh, she wrote a lot of a lot of books. The only one I ever of hers that I ever read was called The Mists of Avalon. It was kind of an interesting book because the whole thing was about the legend of King Arthur, but it was written from the perspective of the Lady of the Lake. Um, it it kind of portrayed uh, Arthur as an oath breaker who had given his oath to the uh, the nomadic people, the the druids and the uh, fairy folk, and then broke it for his Christian wife. It was actually a really good story, but it was one of these authors that I read, and they kind of explained that the stories they wrote kind of came to them in their daydreams and their dreams. And so, like, when they were writing a series or a book, and people would ask her, like, well, what's going to happen? And she's like, I don't know. The characters haven't told me yet. And when I do these builds, what I do is I get an idea, and a lot of it anymore comes when I'm lightheaded, when I'm not feeling good. And then if I can remember it to where I'm feeling good on, like, a day like today, then I can actually try to build it. And so I had this idea for a loading dock. and I'm Again, this isn't as good as a lot of the others, but for me, this is pretty good. This is this is good for me, and I'm pretty happy with this. Although I do want to make a boat dock, and the boat's gonna suck unless I can find somebody who can build them, build it for me. The boat's gonna suck, but I'm gonna try and put a boat in here, and this will be like the stuff for the you know. I want to make a pirate ship. I, I really do, um, but. This is going to be like where the stuff from my shop comes. It's all for the active. And then I might actually store extra stuff here. Somewhere in here, I need to put in a nether portal. And then I can start bussing. Uh, I can start bussing uh, villagers here. And I'll, it'll, yeah, it'll be the slave trade. I'll be human trap. Well, I'll be illager trafficking here. But I'll actually sell uh, villagers here if somebody wants to buy them. And uh, that that's probably not going to happen, but that's the current plan. But uh, yeah, I got this, and I, I got more that I want to do on it. It's just, it hasn't really, this might be as far as I get, but it just hasn't come to me what I actually want to do. Yet. Uh, and then up here, he has not been playing as much. He's, you know, between COVID and school and stuff, he's had some trouble. But this is uh, Bullet Shop. Um, Bullet's got this shop up here, which I like it. I, I think it's kind of cool. He built it somewhere, and it was over somebody else's shop, and it was screwing up the map. And then I'm like, well, you can build it over mine. And they're like, really? I go, yeah, because what I was thinking is, like, people are going to see this. And, you know, anytime they come to buy his stuff, it might entice them to come over and buy my stuff. So I'm like, yeah, build it over mine. I don't know. And, uh. Biker's Bookstore. 
I really don't have a use for it, but I think it does help people out. Uh, we got the wool shop there. Um, I occasionally, even though I got my honey thing, I kind of occasionally buy stuff in here just to help him out because I did not build my honey store or my honey uh, farm to compete with him. I just, I built one in a previ uh, previous world I was on and I wasn't real happy with it. I, I just wanted to build my improvements and they worked. Not to say it couldn't be better. This is the post office. You can put like coupons for your shops in there. Bikers, gold and iron shop. You might have something else in there. It basically sells gold and iron here. I do, whenever I get a handful of diamonds, I usually buy a stack of gold from them just so I have it to trade with. Because uh, when you're throwing gold uh, gold ingots at those guys so that you get their drops, the little hoglin dudes, uh, you go through it pretty fast. This one here is Zombie Shop. And he doesn't play that much anymore. So the next time I go to, the next time I'm having a pretty good day and I feel like going to the nether, I might go get a bunch of elytra. What I've been doing is any of the shops that I think are actually useful, uh, if people are not stocking them, I have started stocking them and I'm taking half the diamonds. So if they ever come back, they're going to get half the diamonds for basically doing nothing other than building the store. I let Biker know I'm doing it. If it becomes a problem, he'll let me know to stop. But I have started stocking some of the shops and taking half the diamonds. Because um, in that way, I get some diamonds that I can then spend in the shop and buy stuff I want. Um, the rocket shop. This is one I might actually start stocking because I think this one's zombies too. Yeah, I might start stocking this one because uh, I, I think this one would actually get used, but there's nobody here to stock it. And I do now get gunpowder from that creeper farm and from my gas farm. So I might actually, and I don't use a lot of rockets. So I might actually, do that. Um, this one here is, I think it's the Lowe's. I think this is supposed to be Lowe's, but I still, I actually use this, but I don't know how much this one's getting restocked. He's got a ton of stuff here to sell too, but this one here, I don't think needs to be restocked yet. He had it, he had it extremely well stocked. And then this is another one that I like when I get diamonds from the shops. This is another one I occasionally use, although it's, um, I don't use a lot of the colors, but like the red and the black I was using, uh, blue I bought. Purple, maybe. Cyan's another one I've definitely already bought from light gray. And I think I bought the regular terracotta. But this one here, like I've wiped out the red and the black and it hasn't been restocked. And uh, a lot of the ones that are on this side, I probably like the, the white ones. Uh, white terracotta, I'm not a big fan. Yellow is one I would buy, maybe light blue and the Lime, not so much. Pink, not so much. Well, the pink actually looks better than the white does. Um, and the gray, that's another one I don't use that much. Regular terracotta. But uh, I wasn't getting uh, the red and the black, so I actually put a portal in so I can actually go over and mine my own terracotta. But whenever I get diamonds, if I've got enough, I've got certain things I usually buy every time I get diamonds. And if I've got the gold, if I'm able to buy my gold, if I'm able to buy my redstone components, um, this is one that I will usually spend money. Uh, this one here, somebody started it. It doesn't actually sell anything. This one here, I'm not entirely sure what they all sell. Or like dirt is something I generally buy. I get it. Um, white concrete powder. This is one I might occasionally buy, although with the the uh, with the gravel I've been getting from digging, I've been making my 
This one here is relatively new, but I haven't really bought too much from it. And uh, this one here, I kept wiping this one out. This, this is Pixel Pizza Store, the GS, the general store. Uh, kind of a yeah, good store, kind of empty, 7.5 on Yelp. Um, but arrows, gunpowder, slime, didn't really have a lot of use for it. String didn't, I got a cat farm. I really don't need string. Bones, rotten flesh, didn't need that. Uh, sand and gravel, not so much. This, I wiped him out several times. He ended up quit stocking it. This is one I might actually start. If, if, uh, if Snowball hadn't opened up his store, I would probably start stocking this. But I kept wiping him out. Um, you know, the repeaters, comparators, pistons, observers. If I had the diamonds, I would come out. And I was basically wiping it out faster than he could stock it. And he hasn't been as active on here. But when he was doing it, if I had diamonds, I would always come over and buy like a stack of dispensers to strop, you know. And then eventually I would wipe it out. But these are things I'm eventually going to use. And then it saves me from having to go to three or four different chests to build the name. Yeah, we've actually got a pretty good shopping district on the server here. It just isn't being used. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything being sold in this. Every time I've checked, I haven't really noticed it selling anything that would be useful to me. Yeah. Okay, he's selling basalt. And it, of course, it's not stocked. And this is Ultra Ranger's shop. And what it is, this is a shop where he will basically, you can hire him to build stuff for you. And he's not really active anymore. But this guy just builds incredible. Um, if we could keep them entertained, if we could keep them active on here, we've got two or three. I'm not one of them. I am not counted among them. I, my builds look pretty good because when I get enough time to do it, they're big enough. They give a little bit of a wow factor for just how big the damn things are. But uh, this guy is just a next level build. This is just uh, incredible. But he's not all that active anymore. I don't know if he got burnt out or bored, but man, when he was on here, he was building some really good stuff. Uh, this one here used to sell basalt and uh, blackstone. Yeah, I was actually, I would occasionally buy blackstone from this shop when he had it stocked. Because it was something I figured I would use sooner or later. I didn't have a use for it at the time. But I'm like, I like the, I really like the look of some of the new stuff they've added with the Nether up, update. And uh, so I was, I was buying it. Well, he hasn't been stocking it. And this one here, I think it's a good store. I just don't think it's one I'm going to shop at a lot. But they, uh, yeah, he's selling, he's selling ingredients for potions. You know, the gold blocks. To me, if you want gold blocks, you're better off going to Biker Shop because he's got a better price. And nether wood, that's actually a good thing to sell. Yeah, the gold and the gold blocks, you can get better better prices for it at Biker Shop. So that's just a better place to go. And uh, this here, I don't know why he's gotten it hid back here. He should put like a fucking banner above it or something. But Biker, this is where he sells beacons. I have bought at least three beacons from him. Occasionally, if I have a bulk of diamonds, uh, like I came over and built one, I think it was Pixel, uh, he bought uh, a bulk order of uh, emeralds from me. And I came over, but he sells beacons here. Uh, block of coal, yeah, right. I. I don't, I don't know that his coal business is doing good, but I occasionally buy beacons from the guy because it's, like, really cool over here. Now, this one here, it's a wood shop. I don't know that I'm going to stock this one. Um, this is one I could stock because whoever's got this, I don't think they've been stocking it. But I just don't know that there's a big 
If I get the wood farm going, I might. I might start stocking this and taking half the diamonds if I get my uh, tree farm going. Just I don't feel like putting in the work and stocking it. I don't know if it's going to be useful. The only ones I'm going to stock are the ones that are constantly getting used because I don't want to go through the hassle of stocking it and then have it wait so long to be used uh, that I forget and don't collect my diamonds. But yeah, he was he was making this. They were they were trying to basically do what Minecraft or uh, Hermitcraft was doing, where they would have like a mayor of the of the shop. And I don't think anybody was really interested. But this was supposed to be the town hall for the mayor, and just a beautiful build, just an absolutely beautiful build, uh, without a doubt. And. Uh, Ice shop. There was an ice shop here. Well, I, and I don't know if anybody's stocking it. Yeah, because I've been buying the blue ice, and I I haven't bought blue ice in this from like for like a month or two. Nobody's restocked it. Nobody's even picked up the diamonds. Uh, you know, the packed ice and the blue ice is more that more of what I would buy if I need a bunch of ice. I'll just build an ice machine. Um, and then uh. I don't think I'm going to bother with stocking that because Snowball has been talking about, uh, he's been talking about building a, uh, or adding ice to his shop. He smells, sells snow. He was asking me about the snow and I told him, I go, look, I can't speak for anybody but me, but I would never buy snow. I would just go good. I don't use that much, but I told him, I go, if you were selling ice, even if I didn't need it right then and there, I go, when I had diamonds, I would occasionally buy ice from you. And save it for when I need it. Because I go, if you were selling blue ice or packed ice and it was a reasonable price, I go, I would definitely buy it and store it and then save myself having to go all the way over to the ice area I've got and mine it and then come back because I haven't built a portal over there. Um, now, this one here, he's actually, I think. I think uh, Hayden's the one that put this in. I might be wrong, but I think Hayden did this. Uh, I used it the other time. I, I hit the button, replanted everything, and then took the wheat left over. But uh, he's got this over here where you can get wheat. I don't know what the long-term goal of it is, but I actually have used this for my own personal use. I don't know what he's doing in here. Yeah, uh, I... It's a super mall. I don't, I don't know what's gonna. He hasn't really done a lot with this in a while, but it's so far it's looking pretty interesting. And then we've got the uh, shulker and chest shop. This is another zombie one. I occasionally buy from this place, and it hasn't been stocked in a while. This is one I will not bother stocking because I don't like going to the end if I don't have a good reason. And restocking somebody else's shop is not a good enough. Now this here is one of the newest shops that we got in here. Uh, I think Biker put that one in, and I don't know if there's actually anything in it or not. I don't. I actually went in here the last time. I don't think there's actually anything in there yet. I don't know if there's going to be. But this here is one that'll be a regular stop for me now that he's got up and running. But he sells observers, droppers, dispensers. Uh, I might even buy the occasional piston. Uh, furnaces, no. I, I will not be buying furnaces. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I definitely won't be buying furnaces, but the redstone repeaters, he hasn't started selling uh he hasn't started selling comparators. I think he said he wouldn't because it just it's a hassle to get all the uh I can understand that because it uses a lot of redstone and you have to have the uh quartz. And I don't blame him for that, but it's like a lot of this stuff I will occasionally pick up. Buttons is another thing, and unless I have a ton of extra diamonds and nothing better to do with them, buttons are something I don't think I would buy. And, uh, yeah, he's got this. This is just a nice little shop, because I love the fact that he made, like, a giant fucking piston. And uh, 
This is, I think this is Bikers. Oh, he's gotten more done on it since the last time I was here. And uh, and he actually put cars out here. When we did the Halloween Town, it, and, it, and it was probably, by all measurable standards, maybe not the most impressive thing there. But he did a tractor at the Halloween build. And that was my favorite thing. That was absolutely my favorite thing was when he put the tractor in there and he's got a little car here parked out. This is the mine mart. Uh, now, I'm not going to criticize, but I just want to point out that if the parking lot is here, the door should be over here. You know, it should have a door going in and a door coming out. Well, maybe they, maybe the pistons fire. So, okay, he does have doors over here. My bad. My bad. May I call up? May I call um, yeah, I, I, last time I was over here and checked it out, he didn't really have anything in here. So I'm actually going to have to do some, I, I don't know that I'm going to buy anything, but I'm going to have to check this out the next time I have diamonds, just to see if there's anything, uh, I've got a bamboo farm, but I'm getting more than enough from other stuff. So I don't really need that, but, uh, blaze rods I might buy because I do use those. Uh, TNT, I really don't use that much. I am getting a, a heroic amount of uh, quartz, so I don't really need that. Kelp I might buy just for shits and grins. Uh, maybe the green dye. I didn't see the pressure plates at first. Yeah, your prices are good. I think it's about what uh, Pixel Pizza was charging. Um, your pr the only the only thing I don't like is I'm not going to buy a furnace. I'm not going to buy a button. But no, your prices I think are pretty much what uh, Pixel Pizza was charging. And I was I, I I mean well he just wasn't restocking it very often. But I was occasionally wiping it out because I would buy like a stack or two every time I had diamonds. And then uh, I'd have to wait for him to restock it. But yeah, no, I, I will definitely, like, anytime I got a bunch of diamonds, I'll at least come in and spend one or two of them there and just pick up something that I'm going to use. I'm always looking for dispensers. Uh, I'm always looking for the red, the repeaters, uh, even the droppers. But uh, this is a really nice looking shop. Yeah, when I got diamonds, I'll have to swing through here and see if there's anything. But uh, the food items, I don't know. I might pick those. Yeah. No, that was a because if if Pixel was still like stocking his store, I wouldn't care. But as soon as Pixel quit stocking his, I was glad to see somebody else. Because like I said, if if I'm building something and I need just a handful of them, and I've got some diamonds I can spend. I will go buy them rather than make a bunch. If I need 40 or 50 of something because I'm building something really big, then yeah, I'm going to make them myself because I just don't have that many diamonds usually. But if I have a couple diamonds and I've got nothing else that I absolutely need, I will pick up a few of those here and there and just store them. Okay, I might occasionally buy a Trident here and there because uh, they've been disappearing. Although... Uh, since I started working on a trident farm, I'm not actually getting tridents from it that much, but lighting up the ocean, I think I've got like about 10 or 15 tridents now because I've been lighting up the ocean. I am constantly getting attacked by those little bastards carrying their tridents. I've actually got a supply of them now. Um, oh, man. I don't like the Curse of Vanishing on it. He's actually got better enchantments on his stuff than I do. But so like, I'm just doing it as an afterthought. He's actually trying to sell this stuff. Uh, ooh. I don't really need it because of the emerald farm, but I might occasionally buy the golden carrots. He's the... Yeah, I might occasionally buy some of these because I use them in potions and like the carrots I can use in breeding horses. I might actually pick this stuff up on a kit. I like the fact that he's used the artwork. And I think these are supposed to be like a chandelier. I kind of like that too. My whole screen just went right. The little hamster, the little hamster that's running my computer is kicking and screaming like a dying mule trying to run this stream. It's like, you fucker, you usually don't stream this long. I need a break.
Yeah, I haven't been in the ATM. It's where you can get your uh, your payment stuff. Staff. Staff only. I like that. <coughs> now, because of my texture pack, these are going to be different uh, images than what you're used to seeing. I just talked to him the other day. It's a guy that I used to play with. He played on my uh, my my realm when I had it. And then, like, the last the last I played with him, he was hosting a game. And uh, he had built it. He had put some artwork up. And the, he's he's not a real religious person. He's a great guy, absolutely great guy. But he's not a real religious person. And the I I don't know what the artwork was on his texture pack, but the artwork on mine I it was like a I can't remember I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. If I see it, I'll point it out here. But it was kind of a religious picture or or something like that. It, it looked like something Da Vinci or somebody would have painted for the church. And I'm thinking, oh my God, uh, I don't know if he realizes that's the image that's showing up on mine. Yeah, this is kind of nice. He's got room for expansion. I really like the build here. Oh man, I am having a really good day. Usually after about an hour or so, I'm getting lightheaded. I'm, I'm going to be wiped out tomorrow. Okay, this is the way I came in, so I got to go the other way to get out. I do like the staff-only doors; those crack me. Oh my God! Somebody's been doing these. I've seen like two or three of them now. Somebody's doing these TikTok videos, where what they do is they come out and they use a couple pair of boots and they put boot prints on the hood of somebody's car. And then they pour like a uh, yellow stuff in the snow to make it look somebody like somebody stood up on their car and pissed on the windshield. Those crack me up. I'm not kidding you. Those I think are hilarious. You know, I I hope this goes over well afterwards, and I'm going to upload this one to YouTube. But my hands are not. I mean, I'm doing okay. I'm not. I'm not trying to have a little pity party for the fucking one. But uh, my hands are not doing great today, and uh, so it's just easier for me to go and actually do a tour of the server. Uh, hey, for anybody that is watching this, if you've made it this far. I'm going to take a little detour and go over to Biker's Base. Uh, he is the lonely biker on Twitch. And you really should go check out his streams too. Because he is making one hell of an epic base. I occasionally... Ooh, I got another head. Um, I occasionally need the uh, the ink sacs, so I hate to turn down squids when they're there. Um, yeah, this I, you can't. You got to be pretty close to even load the whole thing. He actually is making a bigger base than what I norm, and I usually get some oohs and ahs just for the size of it. But uh, I'm not even sure I can get in, but I can swim around it, and then I'll head back to the shopping district. But, uh, yeah, BC Snowball Gaming is the other streamer we got. Uh, he just put that up there. And, uh, but BC Salt Snowball Gaming, uh, they're both in the chat. The Real Lonely Biker and BC Snow, uh, and if you check, they're all listed on my, uh, uh, yeah, I'm actually missing some rockets that I would need to fly. Uh, He just recently did this. He's got some TikTok videos, and he's done the Twitch streaming, and it's like he's really put the work in on. This is why he's been buying my, uh, my water breathing potions.
the next stream where I'm feeling. I thought there was some squid. The next stream where I'm I'm feeling like this, where I'm actually feeling pretty good, but my hands aren't working, I'll start doing flybys. Maybe I'll do it once a stream if I'm feeling halfway decent. I'll do a flyby on his base and Snowball's base and kind of give you a... Uh... Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the rockets right now, but I can do a flyby and see it. You should really be checking these guys out. We've got some other people that are uh, that are streaming. Uh, they're on. I I think all I did was add them to my uh, my hosting list, so that uh, in theory I should be auto hosting them. Uh, I should be auto hosting them when I'm uh, when I'm not using Twitch. But they're all listed. There's like about six of them. There's uh, SZT something or other. Yeah, I just I'm gonna, I'm getting off pretty soon. But uh, like Snowball's got a really good base. I if I felt like staying on longer, I'd go get some rockets and do it because I could fly by uh, Zombie's base. Zombie, he hasn't played in a while. He made one hell of a base. It's it's really good eye candy. But uh, yeah, but, but ch check those guys out because they're building some pretty impressive stuff. Uh, Biker, uh, Biker and Snowball, they also do some Call of Duty. I don't, I'm not good at that game, but they've got some pretty good Call of Duty videos that they put up. And they just, they just did one, I think it was last night, where they were just blowing up. They were in creative mode. It was done off the server. You got some? Okay, where are you at? But they uh, they did one. They went into a creative world, and they ended up crashing the world. They blew up. They blew. I was laughing my ass off. I was in, I was having a really good time watching. They were blowing up so much TNT. They crashed the world last night, and then uh, they had to start a new one. But they were just experimenting with the fill commands, and they were filling like these epic amounts of TNT and just blowing up shit. And it was kind of fun because it would lag out the server so bad. It would lag out the server so bad. And you'd see pop, you'd see TNT getting blasted into the atmosphere like a popcorn machine with the lid off of it. It was hilarious. Well, if you if you actually need a lot of sea lanterns, I can give you a fair amount of uh, iron nuggets because I'm getting those from my raid farm. I mean, I can just give them to you because I don't really have any use for them. I've been converting them into iron, but let me know if you need them and I'll just drop them off at your base. I'll leave them right next to the portal. Okay, 1650 by negative six. 6,500 by negative 6,500. I want to fly over to... Uh... Oh, wait, you're saying sea lanterns. I'm thinking the regular lanterns. That's what you need the sea lanterns for from uh, Bullet. Yeah, he has got it. He hasn't even done yet, but this is going to look just incredible. You can just tell now. Um, yeah, this is. I haven't been over here in a while. He's gotten so much done compared to the last time I was over here, but he's just got an incredible base. Okay. Okay, now this is Zombie's base. This is just un. I mean, he hasn't even been on here in months. Um, it was. It looks like it was a work in progress. 
Um, but yeah, he. I'm just gonna land here for a minute, and take a look. But man, and he's got. I've got a pretty big sorter system. If you've been watching my videos, you can see I've got a pretty. He's got a sorting system that puts mine to shame. Um, he showed it to me, and it was it was pretty much done when I got here. But he has just got an incredible base here. Um, I I rarely, if ever, build with the end stone like he does, but he has done a good job. I mean, it looks great. It just looks great. I mean, it's really sad that he doesn't play anymore because I kind of wonder what it would be like if he had kept going. This is just beautiful. Yeah, I'm thinking somebody blew some shit up here. I'm 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 really I'm really I'm really thinking that somebody went ham with the fucking TNT right here. Uh this one here, I'm not sure whose this is. Looked like they started making a maze. But I don't know whose this one is. Uh Hey, Hayden, if you're still on, put your coordinates up of where your base is, and I'll fly by that. I'm still, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm still feeling like I can go a little bit, but I just, with my hands, I don't know if I want to build too much. Okay, this is his, uh, this is his raid farm. Yeah, this is his. I, I actually helped him by bringing some uh, villagers over. For him. But this is uh, this is zombies base. I'm not sure. I think this is pixels. I might be wrong, but I think this is pixels base. Uh, like I said, they've got they've got really good. Some of them. You know they're they're not as active as they used to be, but this is a really good base. I have no idea who's this is. They got they got this again. Looks like it's a work in progress. They got this tree that makes the one that I've been working on look ugly. But we've got some. What about the tree? Here's a village. Here's a village. Everywhere a village. Yeah, I'm flying over to Snowball's base. Um, Pixel doesn't stream. He's just he's just in it for the the fun. But he, a lot of them though, they're still in school. It's COVID going on. There, it's not easy. It, I I don't think this COVID bullshit is easy oh, on anybody. Oh, he hasn't been on in a while, but that his tree area looks really good. Uh, this might be Hayden's. I might be wrong, but I can't. I was actually over here helping him with it because he died. I think this is Hayden's base, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. He's basically created a pretty good mob spawner down. Okay. I got to do some... Oh, here's another uh, guardian farm if anybody wants it. It's about 3,000 by 6,000, negative 6,000. I found like five or six of them over by my raid farm. I'm not joking. I think I literally found like five or six. One of them Pixel took. Because I told him, I go, you can have it. I go, I've, I've got, I, I might loot them. You know, if nobody wants them, I might loot them just to get the gold and the sponges out of them. But uh, I really don't need them. I need to do, a, I need to do a stream where I'm just mapping. I got to be clear headed, but if I'm having a day where my hands aren't really working all that good, the only thing is I, I've run into it and they weren't even like brand new chunks.
Oh, I... I thought it was 6,500 by 6,500. I overshot it. That's okay. I got to see some cool stuff. But I was flying around the other day, and they weren't even unloaded uh, chunks. They were things that, that I had. That, you know, They weren't new chunks. They'd already been uh, run over because I'd mapped that area. And I kept running into uh, unloaded chunks. And it, you don't take the damage anymore, but you basically burn up all your rockets because you keep hitting these invisible barriers and not going. Okay, I overshot. I overshot. I thought it was. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, yeah. I fucked up the numbers. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was sixty five hundred by negative sixty five, not sixteen. That's my bad. <laughs> Why can't our streamers read? You know, that's that's the the growing question that we have. Why can't they read certain special numbers? It's because they're old. <laughs> that's why they have trouble. Uh, I thought you were closer to zombies, but I don't go over. I like, see bikers is real easy to find because you can just about see it from the shopping district. I'm kind of over glad. I'm kind of glad I did overshoot it because I got to see the other guys' bases, like Starks and. Uh, Another one that's on here that likes his base shown off is uh I'm gonna pronounce his name wrong, but it's like Oyo or something. He hasn't been that active. I hardly ever go to his, so uh make sure my Elytra's going good. You know, and I got to appreciate them. The, the friends I have, they would have waited until I was a lot closer to the 6,500 by negative. They would have waited until I'd flown all the way. I go, oh, man, it was like 16. <laughs> it was like 1650, dude. You really overshot it by about five grand. There was a video uh, on TikTok. I, some of this stuff, I, I know I'm going to hell for laughing about it. And that's okay because I'll we'll be there. Ooh, ooh, we got something. We got something. This might be the edge of his base. Yeah, he kind of, me and him were chatting while we were playing the other day. We weren't streaming. And he kind of, go to his, go to his streams and watch. I'll let him, but. Basically, he's trying to build something iconic from another game, and I think it's going to, I mean, I think it's going to look good, but he's really trying to build something. It's going to be like a big landscape build, not just a couple buildings, but he's like, gonna, he's terraforming, he's building a mountain, he's going to have a river going through it, uh, looks like he's going to have a creeper farm under it, he's going to have a mob farm underneath it, but uh, he's building something just incredible. And but yeah, if you check down below, I've seen it on my tablet, so I know it's there. And it basically, I was just adding into my uh, auto host list. But there's about four or five of us that are on here, and we all stream on occasion on Twitter, and they're all listed down there. It's under the I recommend or I suggest or whatever. But he has got just one hell of a build going. I haven't been over here in a while. The last time I was over here, I've seen it on his streams, but the last time I was over here, we were still blowing stuff up. This is going to be huge. This is just going to be absolute. Yeah, he's gotten so much done since, because the last time I was over, a lot of this wasn't here, and he was still blowing shit up. Which, in and of itself, is entertaining, but my God, yeah. If you want more on this, follow up. Okay, heading over. Um, but yeah, check out BC Snowball on Twitter because this is what he's working on on the server. Okay, I'm here. Oh, 
Sorry. I thought he was a creeper. <laughs> I thought he was a creeper. That was definitely not cool. I honestly thought he was a creeper. I'm really sorry about that, biker. <laughs> it's like you, you really you really shouldn't walk around with my with hostile moms. <laughs> well, I'm not kidding you. I, I think this has been a good stream. I felt really good. I'm going to basically call this the end of it. I'm going to try and get some stuff done, but Maybe I'll do that like once a month where I'll just do a flyby on the bases because as these guys build stuff, I think it's good for the stream because a lot of these guys are better builders than me. And, and it's just kind of nice to showcase it. But seriously, uh, look down in the suggested thing. Check out everybody. They're all good. But uh, Snowball and Biker, they're actually doing uh, videos Snowball of what we're building small. on the server. Okay, I got to follow Snowball now. I'm going to extend it a little bit. He wants to show me something. Okay. Uh, I got a, I might not be able to do that from my tablet, but if I can, I will. I'll, uh, I'll try and have this set up. Uh, I'll try and have it set up, but I don't think I can, I don't think I'm set up to do that. And I, I just, cause I haven't had to, but I don't think my tab will let me, I got to find out if I can, or if I got to do it from the computer. Um, but I'm going to end that stream, but yeah, there's a link to it on there. Uh, it's, it's my suggested, uh, streams to follow, uh, go over if you can and check out snowball right now. It looks like he's gonna, he wants me to raid him. So it looks like he's going to have his stream up and running. So please go over there. I will join you. Uh, I can kind of veg out while I'm doing that. But I'm going to go over and check out his stream. But I want everybody to have a great night. And hopefully I'll see you over there in Snowballs. Oh, okay. Hang on. Maybe I can. Uh, we're going to give that a shot.
Okay, hopefully we will be raiding Snowball, and I will meet you over there. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. I will try and have this fixed. Uh, I know it's something you're supposed to be able to. I will try and have this fixed for later. But I'm going to go over and uh, head over and check out uh, Snowball's stream. And my, my controller has died. i got to put a new game. Yeah, please, I hope I see you over on uh, Snowball's game.